implications for Rebecca Kaplan's entering the Oakland mayor's race? Well, she takes votes away from Oakland council member Libby Schaff for a huge set of complex reasons I'm not going to go into here, but I will in an expanded blog post. Additionally, Rebecca is going to focus on jobs, economic development, and sports. She is on the Coliseum JPA. She's seen a lot from that perspective, so she's going to take aim. Now, Rebecca's entry is going to, I'm just going to say this really bluntly, cause the women electorate to cancel each other out unless Rebecca teams up with Libby. I don't see Rebecca teaming up with Jean this time around, although one never knows. But for reasons that I can't go into right here, I don't see that. But teaming up with Libby is a possibility. Rebecca likes to do that, or at least she did in the 2010 race. That could change things for Rebecca. But Rebecca's entry makes it more likely that an unknown candidate would win given that we have ranked choice voting. Think about it. You've got Councilmember Schaff. You've got Rebecca, who just entered the race. You have Oakland City Auditor Cordy Ruby, who's having trouble raising money, from what I'm told by a number of people. And those three, and you could have the incumbent, Oakland Mayor Jean Quan. What do they all have in common is that they're part of the current establishment. But if you look at, say, Joe Tooman or Brian Parker or Dan Siegel, who quit being legal advisor for Quan in 2011, or Patrick McCullough or Nancy Seinbaum, who really does not like Rebecca on a, from a policy perspective. You mentioned Rebecca Kaplan's name, and she just goes apoplectic. I am not kidding you. And then, of course, you have people like Charles Lee Williams, Peter Liu, Gregory Wade, Samuel Williams, uh, Margaret, Margaret Wade Lawson, who we haven't even seen. These are all candidates that we, in some cases, have heard of, and in some cases, we haven't. And you've got Sheik Anderson from the Green Party, and there may be another Green Party candidate. Unless, of course, they decide to give Sheikh the respect he, he deserves and let him be the only one. They have a crazy race. Really do. Morrison. 